guys, it's Natalie here. So, today I'm going to be testing out some uh, store-bought vegan cheese from uh, an actual grocer's down the street. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to quickly briefly talk about my process and uh, dealing with a lot of fibromyalgia, a lot of candida issues, and um, energy, you know, low energy with the physical. Um, my entire life, I, I've struggled at one point or another with those. And uh, <clears throat> going into, we don't have to go into a lot of it, but um, also the fact of the ethics point. And I'm not anyone that's going to sit here and uh, get into, you know, there's so many channels that focus on the vegan lifestyle and what is a vegan a lot of people think it's just eating vegan uh, which is eating more plant-based and not eating um, anything that is that comes from an animal that means you know dairy uh, that means no meat um, any of that any so pretty much anything a vegetarian is someone who uh, just eats that stuff, but does it just stays away from meat, um, and they technically that doesn't encompass you know wearing uh, things or using things like leather, furs, um, anything that comes pretty much from an animal. So veganism <clears throat> is what <clears throat> excuse me is what I am <clears throat> integrating a lot of those aspects because of the ethics for one. And the process of <clears throat> what is done to the animals uh, when they are artificially inseminated and forced into the dairy industry. The dairy industry is actually pretty bad and people don't think that they're doing anything wrong in that respect. <clears throat> and it is our choice and there's people who uh, spread the message differently. Um, I all I'm doing is sharing my own experiences as a child I would lay in bed <clears throat> very distraught and thinking about all the animals that were going to be slaughtered the next day so that was something that has always weighed on my heart ethics wise uh, <clears throat> it wasn't more until I throughout my own awakening process um, and I'm saying that in general, I'm not saying that in specific area, in general with my health, it, it encompasses everything and taking that responsibility, um, knowing that you're the only one who is going to be able to help you uh, <clears throat> in, in any way. So, um, well, my camera's going to die, my phone's going to die. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to do this and... Uh, encourage you guys to um, maybe do your own research on it and learn more. Um, there's a lot of different document documentaries, if I can talk, that are on, um, you can find on YouTube, you can, there's just so much out there that a lot of uh, activists that are very passionate about what they do, um, there's some that take different approaches to it. I'm just sharing my life. Uh, I don't claim to be a professional at anything in life, you know, I'm just doing me. That's all I know how to do. So anyway, with that said, uh, it just has culminated and brought me to a point where I'm doing a lot more things um, that's benefiting the planet that I'm taking action on instead of sitting here and wondering why things are this way or why things are that way. Um, how the dairy industry really works is very, very sad. And <clears throat> even limiting it and using alternative ways uh, that's helping is making a difference. And I've talked um, before about how I believe that the animal kingdom mirrors us. Uh, they assist us. A lot of people think they're here for our consumption. And I don't necessarily agree with that. <clears throat> they're here to assist us in whatever way we decide to go. And uh, I don't believe that while well, in my life anyway, I don't want to be consuming the violence, the process of what that happens. You know, there's a lot of Native Americans that 
were so grateful and appreciative and it was sacred um, and that's what they they needed to do to survive and now we have other means and it is not necessary for us to have to kill and so uh, and the way that it's done in other words uh, before it gets to you in the supermarket is just it's really sickening actually it's just really sickening so i'm not bringing anger i'm not bringing you know we're trying to force anything upon anybody with any stuff that i i have going on in my life i just share and you know hope that it inspires people so anyway so today i'm trying vegan cheese after my long introduction of explaining um that being a vegan if you want to claim that for me and this also goes into the planet Vega as well. There's a lot of information that, you know, people that are vegan um, may not necessarily have looked into the deeper aspects of, of that. But um, it's being able to, what, what you're eating and integrating that within your entire uh, spiritual enlightenment, in other words, um, and being aware of that type of stuff and uh, fruit, vegetables, Plants, they have auras too and uh, so it, it, there's a big difference with that versus you know animals and you can go into the science of it I'm not going to get into any of that stuff today um, there's a lot of people on YouTube that can very well express and explain that stuff so I'm not going to claim to sit here and try and explain all of that I'm just gonna share um, how I'm feeling so um, although I don't claim to be vegan, I don't claim to be anything, I'm just doing what I can on my part and what's helping me and assisting me. Um, and it's more, it's, it's ethical, it is uh, for my health, it's for the whole in other words. So it's benefiting me at the same time it is benefiting the whole and that's why I do things. Um, it's for that purpose. So, and it's kind of a balance, you know, trying to figure out what's going to be best. So anyway, you guys can be the judge of, you know, your own or discernment of your own lives, I guess, and what's best for you. But I'll share this one right now. So right here, I've got some almond and I've already cut it up. So I put plastic over it. So this is mozzarella. This is from almond milk. There's another one made from almond milk. This is cheddar. And this one is a medium cheddar style. And this one's made with um, tapioca starch. And like I said, I'm going to do a tutorial later on because I'm going to be making my own vegan cheese with cashews. Um, so, and then we've got awesome dehydrators here that I'm going to actually use it to help age it a little bit. So I'll be sharing that soon as well. So let's try the first one, which is the mozzarella, the almond milk. I'm actually going to cut it. Show you guys, it's got the specks of the almonds. Let's try it. I like that. It's got a creaminess and a smooth taste to it. It tastes a lot like mozzarella cheese, like a fresh mozzarella. Kind of soft, but not too soft or it's going to lose its form, you know. Very good. I like that. Okay, now we're going to try the almond milk cheddar flavor. I like it. Those two are very similar. The smooth texture. Um, it's got a nuttiness to it as well from the almonds, I'm sure. A little bit of a smoky flavor to the cheddar. Um, very, like, I, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with it. I'm very pleasantly surprised. All right, now we're going to do this one just got tapioca starch coconut oil pea protein okay that's what it looks like like i said guys i'm not like too good at tutorials this is kind of out of my league a little bit so i'm just living life sharing it with you guys coach by the mm. 
Okay, that one tastes like it's been aged a little bit more, whether it's the ingredients they put in there to change it could be because of the tapioca starch. Um, it's a lot, a little bit more of a harder cheese. Um, whether they've aged this one longer, I'm not sure. But um, this one does have more of like a aged cheddar cheese for sure. Um, which ones are my favorite? I would probably say these ones, the almond. They're just a little bit softer, uh, smoother texture, and I'm big on cheese. You know, I used to eat quite a bit of cheese. Um, and transitioning but yeah this one's more pungent more tangy more of a bite to it and it is harder mm. it does taste like it's been aged quite quite some time um, and plus this one has a little bit different ingredients in it um, so yeah I like the almond ones I'm gonna be making my own cashew cheese pretty soon but I'm very impressed anything we can do you know um the importance also of um later on i've got some things that will actually help you clear out your digestive tract um xylem husks um mixed with some benzenoic clay benzenoic clay i've actually shown you guys how i've used it on my face i use it for many different things um but and it helps tighten your skin as well but it is also really good for your digestive tract. It actually um, attaches to the ions and it will actually, it's like a magnet in other words, so it will pull the, even uh, heavy, some of the heavy metals, you know, that's sitting in your body, it just attracts it. Um, so I'll go into more of that, the drink that I actually make with the Asylum Huffs and that. I let the, I let it sit overnight to kind of expand and then I drink it the next day um, that will help people having like candida problems especially um, lots of different um, diseases and like everything it's gonna take a whole effort in different ways to you know work on your spiritual work on your emotional work on your mental working on your physical it takes everything to master you know different areas within our lives and so depending on where we each are individually and what we're able to do what we feel like we want to do um to be able to experience you know the best life that we can here right now and so this is just you know a little glimpse into some of the things that you know we can do to help change uh, help change things within ourselves shift that things those things but also be able to truly impact um people around us and the entire world so doing our part so this will actually help um, to reduce and a lot of people sit there and they think oh well, I'm just one person that's not going to make a difference it will make a huge difference it will make a huge difference uh, getting that foundation like I said is very very important and uh, our physical we do need that to stay grounded here in this reality so um yeah if you guys are interested go try some vegan cheese or um i'll be making some soon look up a a good recipe for that or i'll have one coming up pretty soon so i hope you guys are doing well i'll have more videos for you like this soon and i will talk to you guys soon bye